Hi folks, it's Action Hero back here um, for another iteration of the uh, Toy Room Tour. So let's uh, get right into it. I have a lot more to share and um, we'll get after it here. One second. So, um, so before we go any further with looking at like individual displays of action figures, I did want to just sort of show um, the big picture, which is the um, the wall of action figures that we've been looking at thus far. So this is like the larger display, and then we've been looking at like individual action figure displays. But I wanted you to sort of have an idea of how I've how I've set it up because I, I I am very happy with how I've set it up and wanted to share that with you as well. Um, and but moving uh, in a little bit more closely here, so you can see on the up uh, on the top right, um, we have this group of figures, which is of course from the Snyderverse, um, the DC Cinematic Universe, which is now mostly defunct because Batman and Superman are out and. Now Ezra Miller Flash are out. Henry Cavill's not doing it anymore. Ben Affleck's not doing it anymore. So um, they pretty much just have the Wonder Woman universe and the Aquaman universe still going out of the DC Cinematic Universe. And I guess Shazam might be included, but we're certainly not going to see another Justice League movie anytime soon with the same actors. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of hunky-dory about this Justice League. It's okay. Um, Mattel DC Mattel uh, DC Multiverse did a fairly good job. I really like the Henry Cavill Superman. I think it captures his likeness really well. So I'm happy with him. Um, Wonder Woman, her head looks a little weird. Definitely does not look like Gal Gadot at all. And she's kind of hard to stand with her shield and stuff. So I'm not wild about her. The Jason Momoa Aquaman is pretty bad. His trident is just looks like a, I don't know, it, it doesn't look like it's like nice and crisp and clean, but instead like the, all the prongs look kind of thick and I don't know, I don't think he looks like Jason Momoa. I also prefer um, Jason Momoa in like the red and, or not the red, the orange and green suit um, from Aquaman rather than from like Justice League. So I don't love that Aquaman figure. The Batman figure, he's okay. Um, I, I kind of wanted to get the standard Ben Affleck Batman, but I don't know. I, I don't want him bad enough to buy him. I don't think the Ezra Miller flash came in the two pack with the, um, the new 52 flash from Mattel and it's okay. Um, another figure that's not, not all that great, but he's mediocre. So that's the only picture I have of them. I didn't do any zoom ins cause I'm not so wild about that particular display, but it is what it is, you know? It's, it's fine. This is my Batman Arkham Asylum display. Uh, I do not collect Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, I just happen to think that, uh, for example, the Penguin and, and Mr. Freeze looked really cool. Um, and so I bought them for that reason. I think they looked really nice. You can't really see it here, but Penguin does have his umbrella um, and uh, in, his, in his other hand. So um, anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're okay. Uh, like I said, I'm not like a devoted, devoted Batman fan. Like I love Batman, but he's not one of my top five. So I don't like collect Batman, just like Batman. The two in the middle were some very early McFarlane toys, DC multiverse figures. So I kind of felt compelled to get them since I was sort of in the heat of like the beginning of the line. But I don't expect that I'll collect any more Arkham figures, uh, Arkham Asylum figures as Todd releases them. Uh, like I'm not going to get the Killer Croc or um, I think there were a couple other ones too. Um, the Nightwing, he's okay. He's from DC Direct. So the three on the sides are DC Direct, but then Joker and Batman are DC Multiverse, which I think DC Multiverse did a really good job with. Um, that is McFarlane DC Multiverse did a really good job with Joker. The Batman, he's okay. I don't know. He's kind of hard to stand. I think I have him on a stand there that you can't see. Um but yeah, the Mr. Freeze is really cool. He's kind of breeze. These the DC direct ones are easily breakable, but um, the Mr. Freeze looks really cool, especially behind that helmet. So I do recommend him if you're going to get any of them. He's probably the one to get. I had the Killer Croc from DC Direct, but then his leg broke. So yeah, the DC Direct ones break really easily. He fell from the shelf, which this is especially high shelf. I mean, you can see it right there. Whoops, you can see it in the corner there that it's really high. So. Um, I don't know why it won't let me. Um, you can see it that it's really high. So he fell and he broke, which is sad. But I tried to super glue him, but it didn't know didn't work. So this is what I have left. Thankfully, he was not one of my favorite figures in the entire world. Um, and then here we have um the sort of DC rebirth justice league. 
Um, these came in a six, no, in a seven pack. Um, also came with Cyborg, but I chose not to include Cyborg since uh, Cyborg was not, not in, he was in the Justice League and DC Rebirth, but the DC Rebirth Justice League was like this Justice League, except plus Cyborg, Jessica Cruz, and Simon Baz. And I really wanted Hal in the Justice League. So this is like a modified Rebirth Justice League, but everybody's still in their Rebirth suits. As far as the figures go, um, so this is the D DC icons. So they're roughly six inches, sometimes even a little bit smaller than six inches. And let me just say, these guys have a scale problem. So they all came together in a seven pack and yet they have a big scale problem. First of all, Wonder Woman is the tallest of them by far. Batman's the second tallest, which is fine, but that, but Wonder Woman towers over Superman, which is not accurate. Um, and uh, the Wonder Woman figure actually looks really well. Uh, well looks really well, looks really good. Um, and there's the wire again, the golden wire that I used uh, on the other Wonder Woman figure that you saw earlier. Um, and she looks really, really nice. I, this is one of the, my favorite Wonder Woman figures that I own, but she just doesn't scale particularly well. I kept her here because I think she does look good with the display, but again, the scale is a little off or way off, actually. The Flash is really tiny. You can't really see how tiny he is, but he's really, really tiny. Um, he's a pretty good Flash. They got all the details right on him. The head sculpt has the side eye, which is kind of frustrating. Batman looks really nice. Um, funny story about the Batman that I got in the five pack. It's literally exactly the same as the Batman you see here, but uh, my dog chewed up the one from the five pack. So I bought the single card release to replace him. And it's the exact same figure, but it's just, yeah, it's just kind of funny. Uh, he's okay. I don't know. He's, he definitely is very accurate to the rebirth Batman, but I don't know. His head sculpts, I don't know, leaves a little bit to be desired. The Superman figure, um, I like, except for his head sculpt. Uh, the head sculpt, I don't know. It's just, it's just bad. It just looks weird. I kind of toyed with getting the DC icons uh, classic Superman and like putting and like switching the heads around. I'm not sure if the skin, skin tones would match, but I don't have the classic Superman from DC icons. I only have the reverse suit. I told you guys that the reverse Superman suit was my favorite suit and it is, but this head sculpt is kind of aggravating and ruins the Superman, in my opinion. Aquaman also suffers from a really bad head sculpt. Um, this picture does not show how awful it is, but it is god awful. Um, I loved Aquaman's Rebirth suit too, changed very little from the New 52 to Rebirth, but I liked what changes they did make. But this head sculpt is not uh, my favorite. Green Lantern also came with a very bad head sculpt, in my opinion. I mean, actually, I shouldn't say it was very bad. It was not very bad, but it was highly mediocre. And so I put the DC collectibles Green Lantern head sculpt on this guy and it's a little bit big, but I actually think it looks pretty nice. Um, and, uh, and yeah, he came with that construct. Actually, he didn't come with that construct, but there's a different release of the Green Lantern DC icons that came with all sorts of accessories and like all sorts of construct accessories. Very cool figure. Um, and so I just took that construct from the other Green Lantern and gave it to this guy. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how these guys look together. There's some scale issues. There's a lot of bad head sculpts, but overall, yeah, fairly happy with this display. Uh, and I don't know why am I, okay. Anyway, oh, and then I just was moving in a little bit closer here. So you could see Green Lantern and the custom a little bit better and also the bad head sculpts on Superman and Aquaman. And then, Here's uh, the other three. You can see a little bit better Wonder Woman scale issue. Look how much she towers over the Flash, just huge. You can see Flash's side eye a little bit better. Um, and then this is the, the shelf down from that. Um, this is, of course, the sort of the um, Snyder Cut Justice League or uh, a couple of the Justice League members. I think these three figures look really, look really, really nice, especially the Batman. Todd did a really good job with them. They're all DC multiverse figures. Um, Batman just looks fantastic. So does the Flash for that matter. Superman's head sculpt is, uh, it's okay. It could be better, but the rest of him is really good. And Darkseid is, is really, really nice. So usually I don't get movie figures, but these, these four to me just sort of knocked it out of the park in terms of aesthetically pleasing action figures. So I, I bought them and I'm really happy with how they look. The Ezra Miller Flash also looks super, super nice. So I recommend getting him, um, as well. 
And yeah, uh, not much to say about these guys since I'm not like a huge, huge fan of the cinematic universe. I prefer the comics, quite honestly. But yeah, the Ezra Miller Flash and the Ben Affleck Batman are just two awesome, awesome action figures. They're just great action figures. Um, and they do a really good job of representing the likeness of, of the characters in a way that the DC Multiverse line or the Mattel DC Multiverse line never did. Um, and then this is, um, so this is like the next big display that I'm going to be moving into here, um, which is more or less my McFarland toys display, although you might more broadly call it a just a seven inch display battle, uh, battle display, um, in which basically it's, you know, heroes on the left and the villains on the right. And uh, we're gonna move in a little bit closer here so you can see it better. But um, so what I have is um, you can see it's, you know, it's definitely a big clash between the heroes and the villains. Lots of McFarlane toys figures. The vast majority of these are McFarlane toys. Um, I wanted to put like the big three at the front, at the center of the action. So of course you have Batman in the middle and Superman, Superman like flying toward Lex Luthor. Um, the angry face Superman from McFarland Toys look, works really well for this. The Wonder Woman that you see there is actually a custom and I'm, I'm really happy with her. But um, what I did is I took the DC Collectibles New 52 Wonder Woman body and I painted all the silver parts uh, gold so that it had more of like a modern, modern feel. I painted the boots red and then um, I switched out the head for the um, DC Direct, uh, DC Direct DC, uh, sorry, DC Direct Violet Lantern Wonder Woman action figure head. And I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, the lasso is a nice touch. Um, it's not the wire, but that's instead just like a, a lasso that I think I got from a gift bag or something. Um, but yeah, um, she looks really nice. Uh, what other things to highlight here? The Three Jokers Batman is probably one of the best Batman figures ever made, in my opinion. I really do enjoy that figure. He's really beefy, really like, you know, brooding and dark. And and I love that McFarlane Toys Batman. Um, that Green Lantern back there is an amazing Green Lantern action figure. I think he's called, I think he's the, I know he's DC Direct, but I'm trying to remember exactly what, I think it might be called DC Direct New Icons or Justice League New Icons, something like that. Um, and he's just vanilla. I haven't changed anything about him other than to give him the McFarlane toys like boxing glove construct that came with Hal Jordan. That, that is the McFarlane toys Hal Jordan. And then a construct that came with the total heroes Mattel Hal Jordan as well. Um, and he's asking, you know, you want a box? Let's, let's box. Um, and that's not, I did not add that like in CGI or not CGI, but I didn't, I didn't like Photoshop that in. That's actually on the figure, which is kind of a cool thing you can do with your figures. If you have any like construction paper you can like cut out speech bubbles for them um and you can you can depending on how much hair they have you can like put a little piece of sticky tack and uh on on the on the tail of the bubble and you can attach it to their head and it looks like they're saying something so it's really cool and uh, hal jordan also said that in the comic books as well so i took that from the comics you can see the mcfarland toys martian manager back there I'd still like to get the classic version, but that's the modern version. He's okay, not a great figure. The Aquaman, I liked a lot, except for the head sculpt. He has a side eye, and I prefer a clean-shaven Aquaman. But I did want this to be a modern display, so I have um, uh, I have the bearded Aquaman here. That's the DC Essentials Black Manta, an awesome Black Manta figure, just spectacular. Um, the McFarlane Toys Bizarro, a really great figure back there. That's the color of Fierce Scarecrow that came in that two pack I was talking about. He's an excellent Scarecrow. We can't really see, see his face, face very well, but he's just a great Scarecrow. Not very much articulation and falls over easily, but he looks super great. McFarlane Toys Lex Luthor, he's pretty good. Not great, not the best Lex Luthor ever made, but I like the head sculpt. His hands are a little small. DC Essentials Cheetah, and then DC Essentials Sinestro, which is just a fantastic figure. I, just spectacular figure right there. Um, and then you can see the McFarlane Toy Superboy Prime back there. He's a little bit big, but other than that, I like him a lot. Um, and then I don't know why it won't let me go to the next slide. Anyway, and then next we, I'm just zooming a little bit more on the heroes here so you can see them a little bit better. So, cause they do go back. Those are not the only heroes. So then the heroes are all like along the 
the right side, or sorry, the left side. And the flash, we falling towards flash. I love that flash, but I cut his ears because I thought his ears were too long, his wings on his, and I think I actually did a pretty good job. The wings on his mask I had to cut, but I enjoyed the, all the lightning accessories. And the more I look at that flash, the more I actually like it. He's very dynamic. He's very, um, a very cool flash, but he does fall over pretty easily. So I had to use the stand. DC Essential Shazam back there. You can't see him very well, but you'll be able to see him more in the next one. Um, and let's just move to the next one because um, that way I just wanted to, you to get like a more full picture. But that's the DC Essential Shazam. Excellent, excellent Shazam figure that came in the two-pack with Black Adam. I love that Shazam a lot. That's the McFarlane Toys Batman Beyond, McFarlane Toys Injustice Green Arrow. I'd st I'm still waiting for a comic book accurate Green Arrow from McFarlane Toys. That's the Infinite Frontier Robin. I really like that figure a lot. He's a little bit tall, but other than that, really nice figure. The Batman Three Jokers Red Hood. Um, I, I adore that figure. He's a great figure. Um, the Nightwing is the McFarlane Toys. I don't like that figure at all. Um, I think he's pretty darn bad, except the head sculpt. Head sculpt's nice, but he looks like he's wearing a diaper. That's what everybody says, and I agree with them. Um, not a great Nightwing at all. Um, I'd probably replace him with a different one, but but... I'm using the DC Essentials Nightwing elsewhere. Um, also, just a side note, I don't really understand the fascination with Nightwing. Like, he's basically just Batman with like fewer, with like he, less talent and fewer gadgets. He just has his escrima sticks. I mean, I don't know. I just don't really get it. Like, why would you want a whole comic about Nightwing? Why don't you just go read Batman? It's more interesting. Or go read Green Lantern. It's 10 times more interesting. You know, I, I don't know. It just seems like he's not very original. It's just like another Batman. It was one thing when he was like working with Batman as Robin. And there was that sort of appeal where you got to see Batman and Robin at the same time. But now it's just like, why? Also, his suit's just so boring, in my opinion. It's just like all black and then a tiny bit of blue. It's, I don't know. Anyway, not, I don't care for Nightwing as a character very much. Dead Man is the DC Direct Dead Man. Bad Girl is the um, DC Essentials Batgirl. Moving on, uh, you can get a bigger picture here. Etrigan, I love that Etrigan. It's from um, uh, DC Multiverse McFarland Toys. I'm still would like to get a classic Etrigan from McFarland Toys, but uh, that one is really, really nice. That one's the Demon Knights. That is the Mattel DC Multiverse Tim Drake. Tim Drake is one of my top 10 favorite characters of all time. So I had to get that figure and I'm very happy with him. His head's a little oblong, but I still like him a lot. The DC Essential Supergirl, she's okay. Um, DC Multiverse Mattel Starfire, she's okay. Peacemaker from McFarlane Toys, he fits in really nice here, even though he's the movie version. Um, the movie version was actually pretty uh, loyal to his comic book appearance, so he fits in really well with a comic book display here. And then um, you have Azrael back there the um, from White Knight, but I'm just using him as a comic book Azrael here. He's a really cool figure. I like that figure a lot. Very bulky, but I like him. Um, and then Swamp Thing, who is a little bit big. He's a little bit too big. But other than that, he's just a fantastic Swamp Thing from McFarland Toys. The Batman back there, let's see if I have another picture. I do not have another picture. So you can't see him. But the, bat the Batman of Zur and R is back there. Look him up online if you know what he looks like. That's the McFarland Toys Batman of Zur and R. And he's a very good figure. Um, he fits in pretty well back there. The one, the yellow arm that's sticking up, that's holding the bat. Um, but anyway, this is a very fun display to set up because everybody's just so dynamic. And then we get over to the villains. You can get a bit of better picture for the villains. That's the Injustice Gorilla Grodd from McFarland Toys. But, you know, I just said he was, I, I'm just saying he's a Gorilla Grodd with armor and he can fit in pretty well with the comic book display. I like that Grodd a lot. I don't like him quite as much as like the Justice Grodd um, released by DC Direct, but I, I quite like him um joker that's the three jokers joker i don't remember which one comedian maybe anyway he's a great joker awesome um i love that figure probably one of the best joker figures ever made uh that's the dc essentials deathstroke and you can see clayface and killer croc back there well i'll give you a better picture soon but um anyway we're gonna go to the next slide um so yes yeah, so you can see clayface killer croc that's the dc essentials uh, Black Adam, a great figure, again, came in that two-pack. McFarlane Toys Reverse Flash. I love that Reverse Flash, although I cut his ears as I cut the Flash's ears. Uh, DC Essentials Harley Quinn, DC Essentials Deathstroke. I'm looking forward to the, um, actually, I shouldn't say I'm looking forward. I, I think the McFarlane Toys Deathstroke that was just recently announced looks really nice, but um, 
but I don't think I'm going to get him because he's pretty much exactly the same as this Deathstroke. And so um, he has the same suit and everything. And this one, this Deathstroke has a gun. So <laughs> he's actually a little bit better than the McFarlane Toys one. Um, so I think I'm going to skip the McFarlane Toys Deathstroke that's coming out soon since it's the exact same suit. Um, I think this one looks really nice, the DC Essentials one. Uh, that's the McFarlane Toys Ultraman who came with uh, part of Starro, still waiting to build the rest of Starro using the Crime Syndicate figures. Um, uh, and then moving to the next slide, this is just sort of like the Superman rogues. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but the I love the McFarlane Toys logo. He's really good. Uh, General Zod, I love getting General Zod from McFarlane Toys. I'm so happy they gave us General Zod because it was about time we got another General Zod figure. Um, other than that, DC Essentials, can't really go wrong with DC Essentials, Clayface from McFarlane Toys, and then, oh yeah, this sort of like off to the right of the main display, I have um, just some like uh, uh, replica type stuff, so Jonah Hex's hat, Rorschach's mask and hat, and then uh, Water Woman's tiara, and then to the other side, we have Red Hood's helmet, Deathstroke's mask, and then Jay Garrick's helmet as well. So that Jay Garrick helmet is a bit of a custom, as you can probably recognize. Oh, and then there's the Batman of Zeranar. You actually got to see it. Okay, he's a good, he's a good figure. I like that figure. Um, and yeah, I think that will sort of do it for uh, today.